street always expects you to deliver a little bit better. It's a case of great expectations that N. Chandrasekharan of TCS has to deal with quarter after quarter. The country's largest software provider managed a 6.4% revenue growth in the September quarter from the June quarter. But even that wasn't good enough, as the street was expecting more. Volumes grow 6.1% on the back of a strong demand in North America and India. Leading the growth were the manufacturing, energy and utilities and high-tech businesses. The company added over 8,300 employees during the quarter, while employee utilization remained high at over 86%. Holistic growth. Uh, deal wins have been pretty strong and five large deals out of the eight we announced uh, have come from the US and Europe looks strong. Uh, India has done very well, uh, double digit growth and uh, for the second continuous quarter which uh, gives me the confidence that from here India will grow. So what has dragged the top line down? A slight slowdown in Latin America and lower than expected growth in retail vertical have affected the company's fortunes. Even the weakness in the insurance sector hasn't helped. What's heartening is the strong operating margins of TCS. Reported margin to 26.8%, a gain of about 55 basis points. Uh, going into the quarter, we had a, uh, uh, we had a, about a 70 basis point uh, one-off benefit. You will remember last quarter we had taken a depreciation charge as a one-off charge. So we had a 70 basis point gain going into the quarter. We had a gain of about 10 basis points due to the currency impact and we had another 20 basis point improvement in overall operational improvement which includes aspects of utilization going up, you have some uh, decline from the realization, altogether about a 20 basis point positive impact. And uh, offsetting this is about 50 basis point of margin dilution coming in from the consolidation of the Japan entity. TCS is merging its subsidiary CMC with itself to create a combined force for the future and the management is bullish on the deal pipeline. Street expectations apart, Tata Group Chairman Cyrus Mistry would expect his jewel in the crown to stay ahead of its peers. Slowdown or no slowdown. Nisha Podar, ET Now, Mumbai. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ET Now and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at ET Now Live. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash ET Now.